are you all? Fine. Sit down. Sit down. All right. Today, let's talk about our country, right? Yes. Which country are we living in? India. 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 Hindi mein? Bharat. Bharat Varsh, hai na? Okay. Now, what is the capital of your country? Delhi. New Delhi. Delhi. Ah, we say New Delhi. All right. Now, so we are talking about our country, India, a beautiful country. Yes. Early it was called the Golden Bird, Sone Ki Chariya. Yes. And the capital is New Delhi. Now, do we have kings and queens in India now? Do we have a king in India? No. No. Earlier we used to have Akbar the Great, huh? Or Ashok. King Ashok, you know? but now we don't have kings because it is a democracy, right? It is government by the people, for the people and of the people, right? So it is our country and we select our leader to help the country become better and progress, alright? So who is the Prime Minister of India, do you know? Who is the Prime Minister? Yes? No Prime Minister. No Prime Minister. Dr. Manmohan Singh. Yes, very good. Dr. Manmohan Singh is the Prime Minister of India. <coughs> who is the... Oh, Alright, and who was the first Prime Minister? Do you know who was the first Prime Minister? First Prime Minister. No Prime Minister. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. That's right, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was the first Prime Minister. Alright, then we have a President. Yes, who is the President? Who is the President? Yes, the first Lady President is Mrs. Pratibha Patil. She is the President now. Now before her, who was the President? Very good, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and he is a scientist, a very renowned, very famous scientist. Alright, so he is a scientist and he was the former president of India. Former means, what does former mean? Yes. Who is your class teacher now? Okay, Manjusha Aunty is your class teacher at the moment, at present. Right? Who was your former, who was your class teacher last year? Sorry? Rakhi Aunty. So she was your former teacher. Okay? So here is a new word. Former. That means before this. Before this term, the president was APJ, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Is that clear? Alright. Now he is a scientist and he is very honest, hard working and dedicated. You have to be good in your work. Yes? Whatever you are doing, if you do very nicely, you put in a lot of labor, you are students if you study hard. Huh? You take part in all the activities, then you will be a good student. The same way he is a scientist and he worked very, very hard. He came from a very poor family. They did not have much money. So, he was very poor. And what was the work that they were doing? What was the source of income? What is source of income? <coughs> Alright, I am teaching you in school. What is my source of income? Where do I get the money from? From the school, very good. From the fees that you all pay, we are paid from that. That is our salary. Okay? The money that you are paid for your work is your salary. My source of income is my salary. What is the doctor's source of income? No, doctor. He takes fees from the patient. So, his source of income is the fees that he takes from the patient. When you go to a doctor, you have to pay some fees? That. Alright. Now, if there is a laborer, person who is making the house, yes, he goes out to make a house, what is his source of income? What is his source of income? Where does he get the money from? The person whose house he is making, right? So, that is called wages. What is it called? Wages. wages. All these are sources of income. Somebody gets a salary, which is every month. Somebody gets fees. If he is a professional like a doctor, a lawyer, right? And the, the, some people get their salary every day. 
whatever work they've done today they will get at the end of the day they will get the money that is called wages what is it called wages all right so dr apj abdul kalam now he is a scientist but earlier when he was a young boy he came from a very poor family they did not have much money and what was their source of income wages but how what was he doing what were his parents doing were they farmers no they had a boat you know what is a boat ha huh? the boat that you sail in the river so they had a boat and in that boat they used to ferry people from one place to another now another word is ferry what does this mean ferry say ferry ferry means to take people across the water in a boat to and fro from one side of the river to the other side is that clear that is called ferrying hmm? so his parents would do this they had a small boat and in that they would ferry pilgrims who are pilgrims who is a pilgrim all these are new words all right you come to school every day yeah right you are students hai na but sometimes you might be going to visit a temple or a mosque or a church right you know people go to hajj in mecca yes then sometimes people go to vaishno devi have you heard of people going to vaishno devi then some people might go to goa to see the church so all these people who go on a religious journey they are going to pray to god they are called pilgrim right okay so his family was in the south of india and they would fel- ferry pilgrim ferry mean in a boat take put them in the boat people would sit in the boat and they would move to the other side of the sea not a river but a sea okay and from which place rameshwaram say to dhanush kodi right so they would travel from one place to another they would take from one place to another in a ferry in a boat have you understood in a boat they would take these people now what happened one day what happens when there is an accident on the road what happens when you are not driving safely what happens there is an accident and people get hurt and maybe two buses collide or a car and a bus or a tempo something bangs with each other and the vehicle is destroyed and you know? a broken destroyed so the same way there was a very big cyclone do you know what is a cyclone no in the summer time you must have seen outside your school there is a lot of dust blowing yes very strong wind and a lot of dust and the dust keeps going in circles have you seen outside your school now that is a very small aandhi you know what is aandhi that is a small aandhi but a cyclone is a very big aandhi all right this is another word it is a storm it is a very very big storm in which trees get uprooted right the tree is uh, fixed in the ground you studied in science with the root the tree is firmly fixed in the ground but the aandhi or the cyclone is so great that the trees are uprooted so in the sea when there is a storm this kind of a storm then the water all gets disturbed ha huh? and the sea storm is called a cyclone so there was a very big storm a very big cyclone and what happened what happened to the little boats dagmag hone lagi so kya hua usko it hits the rocks right there are rocks at the side it hit the rocks and the boat was broken the boat got broken now if the boat gets bra- broken next day how is he going to ferry the pilgrims from one place to another he did not have another boat right they were very poor and their source of income which was from ferrying people from one place to another place was broken and so it was now it was not possible for them to do this then what did he do they were very poor 
he then he found that there was a demand of tamarind seeds do you know what is tamarind what imli. yes very good imli it is sarin taste you like to eat imli yes it is sarin taste so tamarind seeds were in demand that time so he started collecting those and selling them then after some time he became a newspaper seller also yes you get newspapers at home a person comes to deliver the newspaper he is called a hawker right so uh, like this thing he came to he started delivering the newspapers to people's homes but he was a very hard working boy a very laborious and dedicated boy he wanted to become a scientist that's right he wanted to become a scientist with his hard work he was able to achieve his goal what was his goal what did he want to do yes very good his goal was to become a great scientist science fascinated him so he worked very very hard studied very hard and in spite of his poverty he became a scientist all right in spite of the boat being broken down if your thing breaks down you feel sad you you cry you upset you are angry right but he did not lose heart what does lose heart mean where is your heart there is a heart inside your body where is it on the left side of your chest is your heart you cannot see it but i can feel it beating yes so this is called this is a part of the body it is the heart he did not lose heart what does this mean did not lose heart heart was gone can we live without the heart no lose heart is a phrase which means he did not give up hope yes there was trouble in his home why was there trouble in his home yes very good very good the boat had broken down but he did not lose hope he did not lose heart wo nirash nahi hue nirash hote na he kept on hoping he kept on trying he did not give up and so he finally became a scientist yes he became a scientist and he was very fascinated with missiles okay so his name uh, came to be the missile man of india he became to be known as the missile man of india some missiles that he has launched are can you tell me the names some of the missiles that he has launched okay i'll tell you agni that is fire prithvi earth very good and akash sky every all are these parts of nature yes and trishul trishul and nag nag is a snake all right so his uh, all his missiles were named on these natural objects can we repeat agni prithvi akash trishul or nag nag and he was called the what was he called the missile man of india and because he was so good when you are so good in your work what do you get from the school what does the school give you prizes yes awards or prizes or certificate or trophy and what makes you what does that make you feel happy yes successful you've done well sometimes even when we clap for you don't you feel good hmm when you were given the right answer then we clap for you you feel so good the same way he was also given many many honors and many awards right and what were some of these awards first of all he was made the 12th president of india in which year 2002 right he became the president of india in 2002 and then he got prizes like the padma bhushan which is a very high award padma vibhushan bharat ratna and the highest civilian award and indira gandhi award for national integration all these are very big big awards given to people who have really done very great work 
all right so have you understood this was about his work as a scientist was he a great man yes did many lovely things okay now what we are going to do is some doing words in the story you came across some doing words yes what are doing words called tell me very good doing words are called verbs where we are doing some action right now what was the action done in the story what happened to the boat it was destroyed yes the boat was destroyed that was the action right now decide he decided to become a scientist yes what is the doing word in this ha huh? scientist no ha ah, then destroy and the past tense will be destroyed the boat was destroyed then decide and decided sometimes we get together and we decide to go for a picnic okay so we say we decided to go for a picnic to the zoo that means we made a plan we thought of doing something are you understanding yes. all right some more earn i told you what was the source of income ha huh. so the money that you get as your source of income is called your earning right so earn will be earn very good earn earn hmm and work he worked hard yes work will be work all right and then next is what was uh, the award that he got ha huh? so what will you say he no when i give you something what are you doing i am giving and you are i am giving you and you are what are what are you doing you are taking you are receiving very good the word is receive to take something means to receive and what is the past tense very good very good give us as a clap ha huh? i am giving and you are receiving so the past tense will be received all right now <coughs> you understood the chapter nicely now i have two very nice pictures for you okay would you like to look at these pictures what do we have here what is this okay this is a market and what do you do in a market you go to buy things and what is happening in the market is everyone just sitting lots of things are happening we find lots of doing words or verbs many people are doing different kinds of things some are shopping some are walking some are buying some are selling you know some are moving some are talking all that is happening now in the picture can you see this auto is coming from here and the car has suddenly what did the car do it has stop very good the car has stopped. stopped okay so another doing word will be stop the car has stopped this is a doing word then what is happening why is this man getting angry ha huh, what is he saying he is getting angry why have you come till here yes so what is he doing he is opening his mouth and shouting very good shouting he has start he is shouting or he shouted loudly then what is hap what is happening over here what is this mother dairy mother dairy what sells what very good milk hai na and is the shop shut what is it it is open the shop has opened very good all right then what is this no this what is this 
a chemist shop what does the chemist shop sell when you are not well what do you buy medicine very good so chemist shop is selling medicine and it remains open till late in the night all right so it closes late or shut late it is mostly always opening okay now what else do we find over here some lovely things are happening this child is looking so happy what is it doing what is this girl doing she is enjoying the ice cream that means she is eating right okay now what about this man he is pulling a no this man is pulling a cart hai na and there are many many bags on this cart and it is very heavy so when you are pulling something heavily what are you doing he is pulling it slowly he is not able to walk very fast because it is heavy so this man is pulling pulling the cart are you understanding and what is this lady doing she is eating, eating happily yes do you enjoy golgappa she is enjoying enjoying or eating right and who is this hmm this is a tourist he has come from some other country and he is looking yes he is looking all around to see what is happening all right so all these that i have put up on the word board are doing word yes they are so showing some action lots of many more things are happening this old man is he is bending down his fruits have fallen hai na then this head boy is helping granny to cross go to the doctor this lady is weighing the tomatoes she is weighing hai na you weigh this man is selling balloons right this boy is sitting on his father's shoulders all right so all many many things are happening happening now can you draw this picture at home or any other picture where you show some activity lots of activity happening yes in the market at the seaside at the railway station anywhere and find out five words five doing words and make sentences will you do that